Whoa. First of all, tell us how to say your name. <laughs> My name is actually Mano Azo. Azo. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. So make some noise for Mano Azo. <laughs> I love these people, man. I, I think you bring me back here one more time. Oh, yeah. I don't Why want to not? go back home. Why I'm not? staying here. I'm Why serious. Not? <laughs> man, um, yeah. I have to say, I, I love your whole look. Oh, yeah, I love your sparkly pants. Sparkly pants. Wow. I mean, that's just. It's actually called but, a VIP. Okay. <laughs> it's actually a VIP. All right. Take, um, I got from Snoop. You got it from Snoop Dogg? Snoop, yeah, we got it together actually. Are you serious? Yeah, there are, there are a lot of videos about we both on internet. Okay. On the YouTube, um, that was 2013. Okay. So, so you he's just like a normal. big dogs. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. How did you, how did you <laughs> he's a brother. Big dog. He always, call, he always say you've been fucked up in the fucking situation. Oh. I love that guy, man. He's good. <laughs> he's good. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I was, I, I actually, I work always on, um, I'm, I'm always in, um, in uh, in the United States, try to do some work in Paramount Studios. You know, I do a lot of uh, production, and at the same time produce my own song with um, uh, Dave Aaron, the former engineer, to Chris Brown and um, Rihanna. So we always do. We work. Actually, I'm in the brine. I'm 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 actually um, in the middle of you know the dawn. Okay. Let's give it that way. But I keep myself. I'm always hungry, humble. And focus. Right. Very important. And focus. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Good way to be. Yep. So how did how did come? Because you know you started way back. First of all, the some German in you, some Nigerian. Yeah. And how did that? How did, tell us a little bit about. Well, that was a long that was a long story. Actually, I could just write a book about it. If I keep talking, you know, I'm gonna write a book about it, and I'm gonna make a lot of money. But actually, that's my next plan. I'm trying to do that as well. Okay. It's all about the business, you know. So um, actually, I was a kid when this dream came to me, you know, when I had this dream, when I saw this dream, I was about five years old and um, suddenly I saw myself in the middle of a spotlight and uh, that was not a joke, like, I was just there, there were quite lots of people around me and um, I saw myself singing and you could feel how that, you know how, how, that, how that looks like when you're still a kid and you see yourself you know, in the spotlight, and you see yourself singing a lot of you, you have that, you're scared. So anytime I woke up, I told my mom, hey, mom, what is happening? I'm scared. And she said, you're singing in, when you're sleeping. I said, really? Well, actually, I'm not from, a, I'm not from a, like, a wealthy family, you know? I start from the scratch. And that's what, like, um, gave me that motivation, you know, to keep moving on. And I keep on going on, and I'm so thankful for my mom because she discovered my talent, actually, you know? She took me out to some children um, festival whereby children all is being done by kids so I involved myself into that and then the next day I told my mom I want to sing and as I started I started working on developing my talent and uh, to, with L, 11 years old I started teaching choirs all around you know I was like actually in the gospel reign yeah so I want to talk about that because uh, I understand that you're in the Guinness Book of, yeah. of World Records exactly tell us how that happened um, you know I always tell people if your dream doesn't scare you your dreams are not big enough you know, now when you look at it in a perspective, think about it. You had this dream when you were a kid, and now look at it. You are in a place whereby you feel you want to make it come to come through. And um, I was in Germany. You know, I work hard, study at the same time, do side jobs. You know, to keep myself going. And um, you know, and this thing keeps on ringing, keeps chasing me all the day long. You know, I just thought about. This is a perfect way, and I love going through the hardcore way, the real strong hard way. You know, if I come to the, if I if I go to my fellow brothers, say come talk, come together, let's do this, they might feel are you the only one? You, you understand what I mean? So I thought about let me go through with the white people. So I start up this project. I say I need a thousand people. No, first and foremost, I need a hundred people, and I don't know how the money is going to come, but I want to organize a show. Mm -hmm. I brought these people. I taught them for free. And because at that point you were singing gospel music? I was doing gospel. Well, it depends on what we call gospel. I was doing inspirational kind of music. Okay. You know, for example, in church we sing, Storm is over, 
I believe I can fly because those song gives you life it gives you strength to go on and and it's a kind of song if you listen to my song it's a kind of song that keeps you move on like if you listen to brandy day you just want to get happy you you're, you know you're just happy you're in the mood you just so that's how everything just goes on I just keep on doing that doing that but all in the glory of Christ to be honest because I was a Christian and I, I started from that thank you you guys are after you moved from that and now Brand New Day is, 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 is out and you say this is rational. So tell us about the SOS. The SOS is a kind of party song, you know, because um, I thought about, it's a kind of, you know, I don't know how to place that song. It's a kind of party song that just came on my head and, um, you know, I always do this. When a normal person have a problem, he goes where? To somebody to like advise and stuff like that, like a therapist. But we artists, the we artists, when you have a problem, you put them to write, you put down on writing. And that's how I came up with that song, SOS, you know, I need an SOS, but I want to make it a little bit for the young people so that they feel happy to go on this groove, you know, keep it going, you know, keep it grooving and, you know, keep it down and let the party go on. So that's why I came up with that song, SOS. Well, actually. we're all about the groove and the party here, exactly. and I think you're going to perform that song for us. Whoa. Yeah, are you going to? <laughs> why not? I'll do it for my fans. For, for you? Yeah. Yeah. They're wonderful. Yeah. I love this people. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa. I love this guy, man. <laughs> okay, all right. Yeah. So um, before he performs, I'm going to head out and uh, go get uh, the Gossip of the Week ready. But it was very nice to meet you, man. Thanks a lot, man. I'm going to drop that I'm so next. grateful. Yes, sir. Uh, you guys. All right, even as Joey leaves the final question, like you said, you started from... Basically, almost literally started from the bottom, now you're here, and you're going farther. You said you're just at the break of dawn. So what can you tell advice quickly to those who are watching and they... You know, they those watching... watching those watching, I'll just advise everyone, you know, in every situation you are, always be focused, never give up. You know, if you think about the owner of KFC, he started, he, all, his whole life was a scandal and everything. He never made it until he was 88. And he's one of the richest men in the world. Now look at the whole people out there making it from the scratch. So I always advise people, never give up, just keep going. Just keep on moving, be patient, stay focused, mm -hmm. stay humble, and stay hungry. And I keep on telling people, if I keep singing today, it doesn't matter what I sing. I'm doing it for one thing, for the glory, because God can always take it out from me. It's a gift. So people don't understand that. People think singing is just to make money. You know, if, it, if it's all about money, you know, think about it. You know, I've gone so far. Mm -hmm. You know, I've met a lot of people in my life, but... Um, me coming down here, I just felt I have to spread that word. I have to spread those music, what is in my heart. Mm -hmm. And, you know, those are like, you know, what I call gospel. You know, it doesn't have to be the gospel people like, being, you know, in church or stuff like that, but the inspirational kind of song that people feel like, wow, this is turning me around. So I always tell people, stay tuned, stay logged in, you know, stay focused. Anything you're doing, never give up. And be careful, you could be young and you feel when you're doing something, you feel, oh, it's cool, I feel cool, this is the best way to do it. And later, the worst part of it, what I see these days, young people, I'm still young though, but young people at the end, they feel re they, they regret that point, that part that they did that. I feel so bad for them, but I always think about it, have a thought about it once more before you do something wrong. Mm -hmm. Just do it, just go through the, the normal way and you make it. Because when I walk in the street, most of the times, even in Africa, Nigeria, Uganda, anywhere I go to, I prefer not to go on a limousine. I prefer, even I have a lot of good things in my life and I'm wealthy now, but I prefer to go on the street so that I see what is happening because it reminds me of my humble beginning. Mm -hmm. So I always tell people, stay low, stay focused, God gives, and don't forget He takes. All right. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Okay, so I guess what we're going to do right now is we're going to allow you to uh, perform that song, SS, but also, just like you said, whenever you come back to yeah. this country, you're always welcome right here on 10 over 10. Thanks, man. All right. So oh, hey! Woo! Yeah. Right, Thank you. Hit me, DJ!